Good morning from Hamburg, Germany. This is the GH5. <laughs> This is the X-T4, all right. Good morning from Hamburg, Germany. This video we are handheld with the X-T4 from Fuji. And for those of you who watch the channel often, you know that this is not my camera. This is a tester kit that I've been lended for the weekend because I'm so sick of my GH5 and I'm looking to replace it and get some new inspiration with some new gear and get some photos of Hamburg because as you know, Nelly is pregnant and we wanna get a couple urban shots of her in this uh, you know, short but sweet situation so that we can share them with the baby when it's born. So that's what we're doing in this video. You're coming with us. Let's go. We're gonna walk and talk, so I apologize if this is a bit shaky. The X-T4 does have IBIS, but if I was going to buy this camera, I would probably use it on a gimbal for video. And uh, we didn't bring the gimbal today because it's handheld. So I uh, hope the shake isn't too bad. But the reason I'm looking to replace my GH5 is mostly due to like lack of inspiration, sadly. And it's also like the autofocus is basically unusable and it's really bad in low light. But other than that, I really like it. So, I mean, I've been using it for like three and a half, almost four years. And uh, I'm looking to try and replace it with something that can do better stills as well as video, like a hybrid camera. So I have tried the R6 as well. And to be honest with you, I actually started this video last week and was planning on making it about the R6 but I uh, ended up not really liking the R6 and was definitely lacking motivation there. So apologies to some R6 users if you're watching this video. I thought it was gonna be the camera for me, but now I'm pretty certain it's not. So testing out the X-T4, see if this is the camera for me. Um, but I'm still not exactly sure. There's a couple of things that are bothering me about it. I've got to interrupt myself because this video is going to end on a completely different topic from where it began. At the end of yesterday, when I was filming this video that you're watching right now, I thought to myself, you know what? The X-T4, it's not going to fill those requirements that I thought I needed to replace the GH5. And therefore, why am I even making this video in the first place? And it's funny that I'm telling you that now because I did the same thing last week with the EOS R6. I rented it from a camera shop here in Hamburg thinking that it was going to be the camera for me and it was gonna sort of re-motivate me and re-inspire me to create more videos here in the city. Good morning from Hamburg, Germany. It is just after 7 a.m. It's winter, it's very cold. We are out exploring the EOS R6 from Canon. And this video is all about how the EOS R6 compares to the GH5. And uh, I also didn't fit the requirements that I was hoping it would, and I ended up ditching that video. So I haven't actually uploaded here on the channel for over two weeks, which is the first time that I haven't uploaded at least one video a week in over three and a half years, going on four years now that we're into 2021. So you probably didn't notice, and I don't expect you to, but I have definitely noticed. I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself to, uh, to upload here and to keep the videos rolling, and I have been lacking motivation and the inspiration to create a video that I deem worthy for the internet. And I realized after filming yesterday with the X-T4 that like, what am I really trying to do here? Like, what's what's the problem? Where's, where's the issue underlying underneath this lack of motivation? It's not the X-T4, it's not the US R6, it's not the GH5, it's me as a creator. In the last like four months, eight months even, that the pandemic has really started to kind of grapple onto the travel and tourism industry and our lives, things have changed big time. So to not get too deep into it, 
I am still very optimistic and a positive person. And a lot of the work that I do have within travel and tourism has just been postponed uh, into this year and into next year. And I've been trying to pitch more and hustle a little bit here in Germany. I need to stay motivated in a way that's going to challenge me and keep things interesting for you. So what I've decided to do is make daily vlogs of capturing one image per day here in Germany. And it all starts with the first image that I captured yesterday, which was the very last shot that I took while making this X-T4 video. And it is sort of this like dark image of a uh, installation art piece uh, in Hamburg, just a few blocks from where we're living. And it looks like it's painted onto some sort of plexiglass. And I was able to capture this in black and white with the trees kind of silhouetted behind the subject. This last image is really dramatic, but it does show a part of what I've been feeling for the last couple of weeks when it comes to creating uh, content on this channel. And I want to flip the coin and be more positive and optimistic about that creative side of my uh, life. So how I'm to do that is by challenging myself to get out there and be more creative and take one image per day and share that journey with you here on the channel. So I'd be really interested to know your comments and feedback about this new challenge and the way that I plan on shaping this channel for the next month. And I'm looking forward to your thoughts in the comments below. And I will see you tomorrow with our very first daily vlog and a new image from here in Hamburg.